Hi, I'm Alex with Health Benefits. In this short video, I'm going to be going over how to register a qualified life event in ease. Uh, qualified life events are things like getting married, getting a divorce, having a baby, anything that allows you to enroll into a health insurance plan or change your coverage outside of the annual open enrollment period. Um, this is going to be registered through Ease. Ease is an online enrollment tool that allows you to do this without having to print a bunch of forms and fill those out. Um, it also is a pretty fast way to get everybody enrolled uh, in all the coverage. So you should have received an email from Ease. Um, it'll actually be coming from somebody at healthbenefits.net. So please look for an email from uh, one of us in our office. Um, it explains a little bit about what's going on here. Um, also, these sometimes end up in spam, so please check your spam folder for these. Here is the login. So I'm going to select this link to login. It's going to ask for a username and password. If you forgot yours, um, I can reset it, or anybody in my office can reset it. Just reply back to the E's original email, and we can get that done for you. Or you can select the forgot password here. That helps as well. Once you log in, you're going to see a summary of what you're currently enrolled in today. Uh, this test employee is enrolled in medical, dental, and the Section 125 plan. On the left-hand side, you're going to select benefits. In the upper right, change my benefits. I'd like to change coverage. Did you have a life event? So now that we're outside of the annual open enrollment period for this particular test employee, it's uh, going to require you to have a life event in order to do that. So here are a list of the life events that are out there. And we're going to select, let's say we had a brand new baby, effective on the 23rd. New baby. Great. Qualifying life event documentation. So um, for new babies specifically, um, if you have a certificate of live birth, if you have an actual birth certificate, or if you have um, any kind of documentation to prove that, you can either email in or you can attach it here. Um, also, new newborn babies don't have social security numbers, so um, I'm going to go over how to finish that in just a minute. So this is um, my information as a test employee here. Um, I'm going to leave all this alone. None of this changed. If you have any updates to uh, your address or anything like that, this is definitely the place to get it changed. Um, your compensation might be shown. It might not be shown. Um, if the plan that you're enrolling in requires you to disclose your compensation, we usually have that shown. Otherwise, we hide it. Here's a dependence I've listed right now. So right now I want to add a dependent. First name new, last name baby. It's going to be a boy with a birth date of January 1st. Um, no, it has to be recent. So let's do six. Oh, we already did it. 623. Okay, so for the social security number, this is important. Um, usually new babies don't have social security numbers yet, um, especially if they were born last week. So we're going to put a placeholder in here. Um, it doesn't allow you to enter all nines or all ones. Um, so we're just going to put a placeholder in here for now. And then after the social security number is issued, um, please email in to us and we can manually update this. Um, so we're going to put just a placeholder in here. Great, so the dependents are listed as the spouse and the new baby. Asking if um, there's any Medicare coverage in place, there is not for this family, so we're gonna skip this section. Here you can see what I'm currently enrolled in and the new baby here. We wanna enroll them in coverage. You can see that the test spouse here has waived coverage, and so that will continue. Um, you can see also that the price is adjusting here as you're selecting the wave or enroll in coverage. 
If there's more than one medical plan option, they're all going to be listed here, and you'll need to select which option you'd like to go with. Since this test just has one option, um, it's already pre-selected. Here for the dental plan, let's say we don't want the dental plan for the baby. Here are the um, dental highlights. These links go to further explanations regarding each plan. And continue at the bottom. Here's a summary of what we decide to enroll in and the cost. Great, everything looks good here. And it shows you who is enrolled. So employee and one child, employee and spouse in the dental, and then the AFLAC was already met, automatically already enrolled in for the Section 125, so it could be paid pre-tax. Here we're going to sign the forms. Now this carries forward all the information from what I just completed. Now don't worry about the signature being exact. Um, it's made with the mouse, so it's not going to be. Here you can see it's already pre-filled all the information onto this form. That's great. You just click to sign. And for the dental forms as well. Here you, at the upper right, when you're finished, click finish signing. And you're done. Um, it was easy as that. If you have any questions about this, um, let me know. Um, also, when I just completed that last step, it uh, did send me a confirmation email saying everything was submitted. So if you receive that confirmation email, you'll know that that was uh, registered as well. Don't forget, um, we will need the um, birth certificate. So if you didn't attach it in that first step, uh, please send that to us. And then we'll also need the social security card when it becomes available. So um, other than that, um, that is everything I have. Thank you so much for watching.